Today I'm going to talk about how to travel for cheap because there are a lot of people who are not millionaires that travel or there are a lot of people who don't necessarily have a ton of money or it's not their job. Sorry if you can hear a ton of birds. I'm in Costa Rica right now and there it's so beautiful but there's so many different types of birds all over the place and they just won't shut up so bear with me here anyways yeah there are a ton of people i have been traveling for about three years now and uh i've met so many people who are you know literally on a budget like and i was at one point now it's become my job so it's a bit different for me at the at the moment um it's what i do but yeah so i know a lot of tips and i'm going to share a lot of tips how if you don't really have that much money how you can still travel and you know still do the things you want to do and you don't have a ton of money and you don't have to wait to have a ton of money to do it so if you're interested in seeing that it can go and there's an ambulance or something coming by Okay, so guys, the first tip I'm going to give you, if you don't have that much money, but you want to travel the world, and you don't feel like waiting for your big break, or for you to have saved up a ton of money, you just want to travel, the first tip I'm going to tell you is, I don't know about if a lot of people know about this, but it's hostels. So basically, hostels are, let's call them not so nice not so luxury maybe hotels now you can find some beautiful hostels so don't think uh no i don't want to do that just because i said not so nice hotels there the usually the difference is there are shared bathrooms so like it might be a room with 10 showers in it and then um, you know a couple toilets and you have to like leave your room to go to that um, and usually the hostel room has a lot of beds in it you can get capsule hostels you can get just regular bunk bed hostels hostels even offer private rooms but that might bring you back up to the price of like a regular hotel where if you are okay with sharing a room with other travelers then you can save so much money so since I wanted to show you guys like recent like, I need to a little bit more. recent um like me showing you guys what a hostel looks like, I stayed in one last night for you guys. Okay. You guys look how nice this hostel is. Is that a cheater machine? No. Earplugs. <laughs> And uh, how nice you got seating areas. So nice. And there's a pool too. And again, here's the room. We're the only ones in here right now, so here's a good view. Of the mountain and some trees and so here's the bathroom really nice sink it's very clean and um, you'd get a locker with a lock and then here are all the beds and there's a lot of room in these beds you're not going to be claustrophobic I've been to a lot of capsule hotels and some of them are those claustrophobic ones, but you can look for reviews, you know, on the website you're booking and everybody will tell you and be very honest about, you know, and everybody said that they're super spacious, air conditioning in here, so lights, outlets, really soft, clean um, sheets and yeah. It was really nice. So I literally just left there 
and I came to a hotel because, you know, traveling is my job. I have to stay in nicer hotels for pictures. Um, for Sometimes I stay in nicer hotels for free because the hotel is offering me to, like, stay there, you know, in exchange for pictures and videos. Um, I need places to film. I need certain things. But if I wasn't having traveling as a job, then hostels are still, I mean, they're so they're so fine. So I stayed in this capsule hostel here in Costa Rica. I thought I saw a bug. <laughs> um, these hostels, you share rooms with other travelers. So basically, guess how much this hostel was for two nights? It was $10 a night, so 20 US dollars for two nights. What? what ten dollars a night and it was beautiful it offered breakfast it had a common area for you to sit it had great wi-fi it had great food it had a really really beautiful pool but it was raining um it had uh everything you need you just share a room with maybe eight other people six other people sometimes four other people and they go as cheap as ten dollars a night six dollars a night um yeah, and I've stayed in some hostels um, before. In Thailand, I stayed in a hostel. Uh, I stayed in, and every hostel I went to was really nice. I know there's not so much, there's some not so nice hostels, but the thing about them are you can, I suggest you to read the reviews. So as soon, you can go on Hostel, this is not sponsored, HostelWorld.com and just type in where you want to go. So say you go to HostelWorld.com and you type in Costa Rica. It's going to show you all the hostels in Costa Rica. So you go to HostelWorld.com and you type in Phuket, Thailand. It's going to show you all the hostels in Phuket, Thailand. And then there's tons of reviews, tons and tons and tons of reviews um, because hostels are like a big deal and a lot of people use them and you really want to know if it like sucks or not so tons of people leave reviews and it's going to be really easy for you to figure out if this hostel's literally crap or not so yeah the the, ho the hostel i was just at had uh, so many great reviews everybody was saying it was really clean everybody was saying the staff was really nice everybody was saying the capsules weren't too small and they were really spacious and it had ac and everything like that so yeah, um, if you have a desire to travel and you really don't have all this money to be spending on like expensive hotels, girl or boy, get yourself a hostel. It's really not that big of a deal. And the great thing about hostels are like they usually have. So when I was in Thailand, for example, I wanted to do a lot of things. I wanted to go to James Pond Island. I wanted to go to the PP Pee Pee Islands. I wanted to, uh, I don't know, go see elephants. All this other stuff all this stuff where if you go out and you try to book these trips they're always going to be way more expensive than if you book them right with your hostel literally i booked trips right from the hostel i was staying at in thailand and it was like a quarter of the price that like you would regularly pay for these trips usually hostels have like discounted trips and activities for you to go on same thing when i was in vietnam i booked well it wasn't hostel but it was a hotel but my hotel still gave me this incredible discount for my trip to the, when I was in Hanoi, to the islands. Um, then if you were to buy it outside. So yeah, that is tip number one. Stay in hostels. Um, it's really not that, some of them are beautiful. So you can still get really nice pictures if that's what you care or, um, yeah. Hostels, 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 hostels. So well, the next tip I would like to talk about for you traveling for cheap is since I've been traveling since January 1st nonstop. if you don't know I'm on a mission to visit 100 countries in one year so I set out in January um, well I actually started my my journey in March but I counted from January so yeah January counts um, but since January, I've been living literally out of my suitcase. I do not have a home. I've been traveling nonstop since January 1st. <sighs> it is very tiring, but what goal, what challenge isn't? If it weren't tiring, what would it be? Would it be, even be a challenge? No. Nope. <laughs> so, yeah, there's no complaints about that. Um, but, yeah, I am 
on a mission to visit 100 countries in one year, so I think I know a little bit about traveling. I have been traveling since January 1st nonstop, country to country to country to country to country to country. So, something I know that a lot of money goes to is food. Because you have to eat. Like, you know what I'm saying? You have to eat. Like, and whew, some places like Rome, Positano, London, Paris. I've been to all these places. Obviously, this one I'm talking about. Uh, Switzerland. All these places. The food. Everything. But especially the food is so expensive. And a lot of these touristy places will jack the price of the food up because they know that tourists are coming and sometimes tourists just will spend anything on food because they don't really care they're just traveling they've saved up they've come to travel they're rich whatever the case may be so they jack the prices up in these touristy places like yeah so major 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 tip i remember one time i was spending so much money on food i was like something's got to change something has has to change i'm spending ridiculous amounts of money on food all my money was going to food i'm like this is ridiculous grocery shopping you can always find a grocery store get your phone type into google closest grocery store to me and it'll show you all the grocery stores close to where you're staying and buy food like it's that easy and grocery stores have pre-made meals go, go there and get yourself three get yourself a case of water um get yourself you know one of those large things of water get yourself all your drinks that you're gonna drink that day if you want to you know you can splurge on what you're gonna drink that day um me and my brother used to buy like um sandwich bread and he used to like buy jams and peanut butter and all those butters and I would buy like pre-made salads and when we were trying to you know cut low cost every place we could because the food was so expensive and you don't really have to eat crappy stuff at a grocery store you know grocery stores some grocery stores have you know really 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 good stuff um yeah so grocery stores also have that section with pre-made stuff so you can get like a platter of pasta you know little to-go things of pre-made food like grocery stores pop and you can still save literally 75 percent of what you would have spent that day eating out just by grocery shopping when i was in rome oh my gosh oh my gosh like i would order pasta right and i'd be like yeah, I'm vegan, so can you make the pasta vegan? They'd be like, yeah. And I remember one time they said, we we cooked you up a vegan pasta, and it was literally like this big, this much pasta. And the total came out to 30 euros. <sighs> yeah, and I wasn't even surprised. I mean, that, that happens all the time. Like, 30 euros for what? I didn't even get meat on my pasta. With Paris, the food is so expensive. Sucks. Oh, anyways, um, yeah, go grocery shopping. It's gonna save you so much money so you can spend money on other things, like, big time. So, yeah, that's another huge tip if you want to travel and save money. Another huge tip is, it's also, I feel like I'm gonna be the travel expert, like, expert by the end of this year. I already feel like I am, but since I've been traveling nonstop since January, like non-stop I've been traveling before January but non-stop traveling since January I still can't get over the fact that I've done that like it's blowing my mind but um I realize how prices go up and down and right now it's October November December people don't travel that much in these in these months people travel August June July May these times people travel People don't travel in October, November, December. So literally, like, me and my brother, uh, my brother travels with me. He's 15. Uh, um, currently, my brother is assisting me right now, so he's traveling with me at the moment. And, um, and like, literally, we always feel like we're the only ones staying at hotels. Like, we'll arrive at this beautiful hotel in a great location, and we're, like, the only ones here, and we're like, what is going on? Like, this is a great hotel. It's in a great spot. 
what is going on? Why is nobody here? Nobody travels that people don't travel that much during this time. So the only people we'll see here are like business people or like really older, uh, you know, couples that have retired and but like everything is so much more cheaper I realize now. Like I was about to go on a cruise, but then I changed my mind because I'm with my brother and he's too young to come with me. So I had to change uh my plans around but the cruises were so cheap like right now they were so cheap for like the great room on the the cruise the great uh you know uh, like a really nice room it came with the buffet it came with all the perks and everything like that for super cheap like i'm talking like starting from 300 dollars for like a seven day cruise like what so yeah because people don't travel that much so all the prices are going down I realized when I was traveling June July May all those all those months everything was super expensive because everybody's hiking the price up because they can you know they know people are still gonna travel regardless so all the prices are cheaper right now so if it's possible for you to travel October November December January February to any place it's going to be cheaper for you way cheaper because and it's gonna be better because all the tourist attractions there's nobody there I was in Barcelona a couple of weeks ago and I had been before and I was like there's nobody here when before you couldn't even walk down the street you know what I mean so come during these months if you can it's so beautiful I'm in Costa Rica right now there's literally nobody here I'm in a beautiful hotel like there's nobody here you know like all the tourist attractions are open um like they're free you're gonna get great shots the weather's still great it rains a couple times a day but it's it only rains for a couple minutes the weather's still great it's still beautiful it's just everybody has either went back to school or work and people just don't think to travel this time of year or whatever the case may be but come during these months trust me Nobody here but us and some businessmen, <laughs> like I was saying. Always empty this time of year, these, these really beautiful hotels. So another big way to save money is, so I went to, I flew into Mexico from Toronto a couple of weeks ago. Since Mexico, I have taken a bus from every single country all the way down to Costa Rica. So let's put a picture of Central America right here. I went to Mexico, I took a bus to Belize. From Belize, I took a bus to uh, Guatemala. From Guatemala, I took a bus to El Salvador. From El Salvador, I took a bus to Honduras. From Honduras, I took a bus to Nicaragua. From Nicaragua, I took a bus to Costa Rica. And hi, I'm in Costa Rica right now. And as you can guess, I'm going to take a bus to Panama on in a couple of days. So literally, I have spent about $20 to $30 on each of these buses. So I just traveled like all those countries and $20, well I pay for my brother too, so I've paid for the both of us like around 60, at most 60 bucks for the both of us to travel to all of these countries. It has been so cheap. Now you obviously have the option of flying, you know, from each country, but it's about 10 times more, not 10, it's about five times more expensive to fly. I mean, yeah, you're gonna get there faster if that's important to you, you know, one flight, uh, an hour flight from each country maybe, um, where these buses are usually, like, sometimes they're like 10 hours, um, sometimes they're usually around six to seven to eight hours um, a bus ride. If you can bear that, I don't, I don't mind it at all. I mean, traveling is what I do for a living. Traveling is what I do all year. I don't mind taking an eight hour bus ride to get to the next country, especially if I can save a hundred eighty dollar ticket to a twenty to thirty dollar ticket. I'm gonna take the bus. Are you kidding me? Same thing with Europe. I took a bus all around Europe. I've almost been to every single country in Europe. I have about four countries left in Europe. I will return and go to those countries um, next month. Um, I'm trying to finish these countries right now or the month after that depends on how I'm moving. But um, I did the same thing in Europe. I took a bus from Italy to Spain. I flew to Paris, but 
I took a bus to Belgium, I took a bus to Amsterdam, I took a bus to from London, I took a bus to uh, Scotland, and then I took a bus to Wales. Um, and then from Wales I took another bus back to London. All these buses are like going to be a fraction of flights. If you can deal with sitting on a bus, which I really highly suggest if you really don't have the money to travel but you want to because it's going to save you so much, so much money. There's a bus from any country that has a border that you can cross, that's connected, crossable borders, and take a bus to. I took a bus from Croatia to Hungary to Romania to um, all those countries right there. I bus between them, basically is what I'm trying to say. So I took a bus from New York to Toronto, you know. Um, buses and trains are always cheaper usually no they're always cheaper buses are always cheaper than flights so get yourself a bus it's gonna save you so much money twenty dollars twenty dollars from one country to another are you kidding me my last tip is to book in advance now this is not my specialty because i book everything last minute i'm a very last minute girl i'm a last minute person not just with traveling with everything i'm boop, last minute I'm very spontaneous, extremely spontaneous. So that's just how I am. Um, and I'm always not always, like sometimes I don't even know what country I'm going to the next country, the next day. I figure it out the next, that day before sometimes. It's happened a lot. Um, so this is not my specialty, but I have realized sometimes how much money I could have saved if I planned in advance. So example, say you are thinking about traveling next year in October or next summer. Don't wait to book your trip. Do it now if you can. Um, if you have that much flexibility, you know. Literally, you can save tons of money if you book that much in advance. Um, because things become more expensive the sooner the later you book them so i remember i booked my flight to paris like from where did i book it i booked a flight from where was i bali no i was somewhere hong kong to paris i literally paid 150 dollars for a flight from hong kong to paris because i booked it in advance i also flew to paris again but I booked my flight the day before and I flew from somewhere close and it was like five times the price. So if you book in advance, literally you can get incredibly cheap flights, incredibly cheap flights. If you book the sooner, the better you can book stuff. So if you're thinking about traveling, try and think about it now. You know what I mean? And book as soon as in advance as possible as soon as you can book book yourself as soon as you can is what I'm trying to say your hotel will be sometimes 75 times cheaper um, if you book in advance and if you are reliable to yourself and you can make sure that you actually got an argon go on the dates that you purchase them then I 100% suggest you do that you can save incredible amounts of money because you're booking in advance where the longer you wait the more the price is going to is going to skyrocket especially flights especially flights remember this one time i was trying to buy a flight from thailand to thailand from new york um because i live in america about an hour away from new york so well, i don't live but where i'm from and um I saw the flight and it was literally $170. I'm like, $170 all the way to Thailand? And then I was waiting. Uh, and I waited and I waited and I waited and I literally bought the flight four days from the time that I was going. And guess how much it raised up to? $700. $700 it raised up. And I, was, I had the ability to buy it for 170 bucks. So in advance. All, those are all the tips I have to give to you guys. You guys literally can travel for so cheap if you know how to. And I think these tips are really, really, really important anywhere. You don't have to limit yourself to cheap uh, countries or cheap places. You can travel anywhere for cheap. Paris, 
uh, with th with these tips. Rome, wherever wherever your heart desires, China, uh, here in Central America, anywhere. Um, Costa Rica is a bit expensive. I'm here right now, and I've been taking advan advantage of the supermarkets. Like, for what? Like, why not? I've also been eating, you know, but like. If I can get lunch at the supermarket and get breakfast and buy breakfast and dinner, like I can save like $40 just out of that day just from buying one of my meals at the grocery store. So yeah, those are all my tips. If they're helpful, please give this video a like and make sure you subscribe. I never say that. Follow me on Instagram and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope you found this video helpful or you learned something and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.